Okay, what I have here is I have a timer, which I'm going to use the time to see how long it takes to uh, inactivate some uh, different uh, bacteria and viruses. What I have here is the prototype unit that we made here at Quantum. Uh, this is germicidal UV, so this is 254 nanometer light. We've got some quartz rods here in the middle that transmit uh, short wavelength light. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a card like this, which is a UVC dosimeter card. This is commonly used in medical offices. And what we have on the top is MRSA and on the bottom is C. diff. And what we have is the yellow in the middle is going to change colors when we are able to inactivate MRSA and then it will change uh, pink when we're able to inactivate C. diff. So what we're going to do is we're going to place this card in the box and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it on and I'm going to time this thing. Uh, turn it back on. Okay, so I'm going to turn it on and press my timer. And then we're going to wait 30 seconds. And then what we should have is the more difficult one to do in this case is C. diff. So that was the, uh, the pink color. So what we should be able to do is inactivate that in 30 seconds. So once we get that far, we'll turn off the box. We'll open it up and see what we've uh, accomplished. So we're at 25 seconds and 28, 29, 30. Turn off the box, open this up, and again, what we should see is now the color is pink, which, let me just show you the original card. Again, just to give a comparison. So it starts out yellow, and then what you want to do, this is just like uh, checking the pH in your pool. So when it turns the color that matches, that's how much energy you've given to inactivate the different uh, bacteria and viruses so it's a very handy tool this is good for calibration but it's also cool to demonstrate very easy to see what it takes to uh, inactivate the uh, coronavirus all right thank you